Welcome back. Veteran actor and playwright Girish Karnad is in the middle of a fresh controversy today because this time, after being in the headlines over criticizing V.S. Naipaul, he's now gone ahead and criticized Rabindranath Tagore, calling him a second-rate playwright. I spoke to him a little while earlier. Mr. Karnad, you said that uh, Rabindranath Tagore was a great poet but a second-rate playwright. Can you explain what you mean by that? Well, he is. I mean, you know, the point is he is a very great poet. There is no question he won the Nobel Prize in 1913 when most Indian literatures had not even started developing. Canada hadn't even started developing and we were all influenced. Bendre, Kuempu, the lot. Um, I, as a poet, he is the um, archetypal poet uh, uh, for a lot of languages. Uh, and he is a great poet. He is also a great thinker, as we know. Um, his discussions about nationalism, his discussions about patriotism with Gandhi and so on. But he really was not a very great playwright. I mean, recently the 150th anniversary, you know, it just went haywire and uh, it was made out that he was, you know, one of, the, one of the world's great poets. The Oxford University Press published an encyclopedia of uh, theatre where he was compared, where there are two sections, one with Tagore and another with Kalidasa. Now that is nonsense. Um, Kalidasa is a great uh, playwright, but Tagore is, well, he's there, he's okay. And he's, the credit we should give to him is that when there was theatre, was, uh, drama was still trying to come up, in the 19th century and the early 20th century um, and people were trying to break away from commercialism he tried to write some very decent and very interesting plays but that's all there is um, there is no no need just because he's a great poet and a great thinker to to, to think but, of him but, as a great player what what exactly prompted you to say this just now because here you are just coming out of headlines and the controversy over your remarks on V.S. Naipaul and I've never heard you say this before about Rabindranath Tagore. Why now? Yeah, no. well this is, I, I was just, this is thanks to the media. It had nothing to do with me. I was talking to the students of the Azim Premji University on culture in India and talking about Indian theatre you know, I was talking of the various media and talking of Indian theatre, I said Indian theatre really starts modern Indian theatre in 1850s and for 100 years we don't have very good plays, um, really till we come to something like Nabarna in the you know, 1940s in Bengal. Uh, till then, I mean, you know, most of the plays we get are second rate and I said there were people who tried to break away like Tagore did. But he, unfortunately, he was not a very great playwright. I mean, he was sentimental. He, he came from the upper crust. His range of experiences was very limited. When he writes about the poor people, he condescends. And, um, um, you know, things like that, which are very irritating. It's, it's nothing on par with his poetry. But there is, uh, and, and you shouldn't be surprised by that, there is very strong criticism uh, of your comments. Are you surprised by the reactions to what you've said? Well, we are a nation given to reverence, aren't we? I mean, the moment someone, you, you are not supposed to say anything against the Nobel Prize winner, you are not supposed to uh, uh, say anything against the Jnan Peter Award winner, or whoever it is. And, uh, you know, everyone sort of says, ah, why, why? We are given to reverence. That's our national pastime. But I would say that um, um, we have to look critically at our great writers uh, and place them in their context. And... Um, it is uh, true to say that Tagore was not even produced by his own contemporaries. They did not accept him as a playwright. Uh, the commercial theatre didn't accept him. His plays were done by his small group of people in Jorasenko, which was his own house. Uh, the audience he had was his friends and family who sort of must have looked upon him as the Nobel Prize winner. You know, this great opportunity uh, when the uh, poet was, uh, uh, which all of which is okay. But there is no reason to put him like Anandolal does in the encyclopedia um, or in the 150th uh, anniversary was done of trying to project him as a world-class playwright. He isn't. Well, well, you certainly don't mince your words. Do you think then we are too sensitive as a country when it comes to our icons, whether it's literary icons like you talked about or even someone like Mahatma Gandhi where any critique uh, is, is, is not tolerated? Do we overreact? 
Well, no, I, I, sorry, there you're giving the wrong example. I'm a great admirer of uh, Mahatma Gandhi and the more deconstruct his icon, I think the better he comes out. Not many people do that, but he does, certainly. He's, to me, he is one of the great figures of the last thousand years. Let me say that. Um, having said that, let me say there are other uh, uh, icons with clay feet around him, you know, whom we are uh, not willing to look at the clay feet. This is unfortunate. I mean, what, what's wrong in having criticism? I mean, what's wrong in discussing the critical merits of someone? I'm not running down Tagore. I'm admitting that, so far, uh, mind you, I haven't read his plays in the original. I have them, read them only in the translation, only in translations. But nevertheless, a play conveys. You read uh, Lorca, you read Brecht in, in translation, and you get the sense, because it's action that makes a play, not just poetry. And I'm afraid um, uh, Tagore doesn't really come up very well there, really, I must admit. Finally, though, then let me ask you in what... In fact, even Gitanjali comes out marvelously, even in translation. What would you, though, say to those who are joking today that Mamta Banerjee might call a Bengal bund against your comments, that Bengal in particular is deeply hurt and upset by what you said? Why controversy? I don't understand this. I mean, you, you discuss, uh, this was a remark made to students, and it was made as a critical remark. I mean, many people we think, many writers we consider great writers, and then it's, and in course of time, we re-evaluate re them. Why should it be controversial? It's not, you know, I'm not uh, icon breaker, temple breaker or anything of that kind. I'm not trying to be. But I was talking to intelligent students and I was trying to put it in perspective. I said, for instance, that none of the playwrights that followed um, Nabanna, those came after the 40s, Andhayug, for instance, uh, by Dharmavir Bharati, um, um, Badal Sarkar, Mohan Rakesh, um, Tindulkar, none of them accept the influence of uh, Tagore or show any influence. They left him alone. You know, the plays that were produced in his time and even in our time are plays like Tashir Desh, you know, the house of cards, where children could dress up as the king of right. uh, spades or the queen of hearts or whatever it is. Uh, and, and, and not like Rakta Karobi, uh, which... Well, well, Mr. Karnad, I have to leave it at that for tonight, but uh, you are as outspoken as ever. There is a huge uh, backlash, though, uh, over your comments. There are many people who are not happy with what you said. This will be an interesting story to watch out for in the days to come. Thanks very much for talking to us. And you can look at those reactions online and on our website too, Girish Karnad's comments and his interview where he strongly stood by what he said. We'll see you now on Monday night. Thanks for joining us. Goodbye. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view. Faster response time. And Sudoku. NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.